It's the flavors, it's the online sales, and it's the advertising. Congressman Frank Pallone talking to the group most affected by the growing vaping crisis, high school students. Vaping has impacted millions of teenagers across the country and tens of thousands in the state. So we know almost 10% of youth are smoking e-cigarettes. Um, a little bit broader of a number is 20,900 um, high school students that are smoking in general. So it's not broken down by just e-cigarettes, but still an alarming number because they're using tobacco products. That's why Pallone is pushing for his Protecting American Lungs and Reversing the Youth Tobacco Epidemic Act to pass. The bipartisan legislation that passed in the House would prohibit all flavored tobacco products, including e-cigarettes, ban most non-face-to-face -face sales for tobacco products, and protect kids from the predatory marketing of tobacco products. The fact that the legislation would prohibit the sale of menthol cigarettes is also a major win for public health. Menthol is added to cigarettes to help the poison go down more smoothly. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, in just one year alone between 2017 and 2018, e-cigarette use by high school students increased by an alarming 78 percent. See, what happened is when, when we passed laws that uh, prohibited, for example, advertising and had the graphic warnings on cigarettes and we spent money to try to explain to people why, you know, smoking cigarettes were bad, that did not apply to vaping. Advocates say big tobacco campaigns were so successful that they were able to rapidly reverse years of progress to bring down teen smoking rates. These predatory e-cigarette companies were marking their tech-chic, dessert-flavored, high nicotine-containing e-cigarette devices to our kids on social media platforms using young influencers and cool parties to promote their highly addictive products. Teens in the crowd got a lesson on the potential consequences of the highly addictive vaping products through an anti-vaping PSA created by fellow students for students. I feel like they know that there's consequences, but it's like once they get peer pressure and they start vaping, the nicotine just takes over and they don't know how to get out of it. When you see someone your age trying to spread this message, that's when it's uh, the most effective. The bill is now headed to the Senate for a vote. In Edison, Raven Santana, NJTV News. Thank you.